Hey guys, what's up? This is Brandon, aka Volition, and this is my first gameplay commentary. So, I'm bringing you some Black Ops gun game today for my first video, and uh, I don't actually play this game type all that often. In fact, almost never. Um, but it was fun. I found myself in a server last night and uh, thought you guys might enjoy it. So, uh, since this is my first video, I figured I'd give you a little background about myself and kind of my history of PC gaming. Um, so I started PC gaming back in the Doom 2 days on my Windows 95 machine, and I was probably in elementary school at the time, um, but I was hooked once I, once I started playing. And once I got into middle school, I bought a game called Star Siege Tribes, which I played religiously for a couple years, and uh, that was a fun game, very fast-paced. Um, took a lot of skill. Um, after that I, I moved on, p played a lot of games. Uh, I played Medal of Honor, um, Counter-Strike, played uh, pretty heavily in enemy territory, um, and I've, I've meandered through games in the Call of Duty series and Battlefield and other stuff in the meantime. Um, but yeah, so now I play Black Ops, I play Bad Company 2, um, I play a little World of Warcraft and some other games here and there, but um, that's pretty much it. So I wanted to bring you some Bad Company 2 gameplay for my first commentary, but there are a couple reasons I didn't do that. The main reason is that some of those matches can go 10 or 15 or even 20 minutes, and it's really difficult to make a clip like that interesting without a lot of video editing, and I'm not very good at video editing yet, so I'm sure that would be boring for you guys. Um, the second reason is that Black Ops has theater mode, which, for as much as I dislike some of the things that Black Ops and other Call of Duty games have implemented, uh, theater mode is actually an amazing innovation, and I hope that other games follow suit and have things like this in the future. Um, so anyway, it's easier to get Black Ops footage because I can go back and record it on my own time instead of having to fraps while I'm playing the game, which kind of sucks because it hurts performance. And that's not a big deal. I have a computer that can handle it, but it's cumbersome to try and do that when you're really just logging on to play and have fun and trying to remember to record all your games and then delete the ones you don't want or whatever. It's, it's just it's more, more trouble than it's worth for the most part. So let's see, we're a little bit over halfway through the weapon tiers on this gameplay. It, it's not the most amazing first half I've ever had, but I turn it up a little bit here at the end and do pretty well. And there's a, there's a pretty good sniper shot coming up here in a second where I hit a double. And I'll be the first to admit, I'm not the greatest sniper in Black Ops, mainly because I can't quickscope very well. So I normally stick to the SMGs and the assault rifles, but Occasionally I hit a decent shot, and you'll see I missed two here, but I make up for it with the double right there. So for the second part of this video, I thought we would talk briefly about Battlefield 3 versus Modern Warfare 3, because I read an article yesterday on Ars Technica where the author was talking about uh, the differences between the two games and which one he was looking forward to based on what we know so far. Now, since I'm a PC gamer, you might guess that I'm a lot more excited about Battlefield 3 and you'd be right. And there are several reasons for that. The main reason is that if you've read any interviews with the Battlefield 3 development team or seen anything, seen any articles about it, you've probably seen that Battlefield 3 is leading with their PC version. There's going to be a lot of new innovations in terms of the game engine, which is new. I think there's going to be a lot of cool stuff going into that game, whereas Activision has a pretty tried and true method for selling the Call of Duty series. It's mainly iterative with each release, and there's not a whole lot of consideration given to the PC experience. It's mainly marketed towards console gamers, and I have a problem with that. Especially when you have a game like Modern Warfare 2, which doesn't even have dedicated servers. And that's pretty much a slap in the face to the PC community, which I don't appreciate. And I think it shows that Activision is either completely out of touch with the PC gaming um, fan base, or they just don't care. Or maybe both. But in stark contrast to that, the comments that I've seen come from the Battlefield 3 development team over at DICE seem really excited about developing for the PC first and foremost. 
and really trying to push some of the boundaries um, with graphics cards and processors being as powerful as they are today. Now I'm not saying that I'm absolutely not going to buy Modern Warfare 3, but what I am saying is that Battlefield 3 is going to be a day one purchase for me, whereas I'm probably going to take the wait and see approach with Modern Warfare 3. So this clip's about over, but I get a couple decent shots here towards the end to finish off the map. Um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe, etc. Uh, if you'd like to see more of this, let me know, or if you want to see something different, let me know, and I'll try to make it happen. So, thanks for watching, everyone.